Welcome back everyone in ChemDraw tutorial series. In this video we'll learn some more cool things about ChemBioDraw. So in the previous uh, tutorials we learned how to draw um, organic structures or different molecules in the ChemDraw. And in this video we'll continue exploring what else we can do in ChemDraw which is otherwise not possible with other software. So today we'll talk about the object menu. There are various options in object menu, we'll try to explore them. So first of all we'll make a copy of these structures. For example, alright we'll make a copy of compound 1. So I just selected it and as I told you in the last tutorial we can make a copy by pressing the control button keep pressing it and you see now your mouse pointer looks like a hand with a plus sign on it so you now click and drag the structure so you'll be making a copy of it and leave the click leave control now we have made a copy of compound one and we'll we'll work on this copy now so we can make another copy to show you some cool things so we select this and make another copy of it just to see how uh, we can perform different actions on it so the first thing is that we can align these structures in any way like for example you can see that this structure is here this is a little bit up above this line so they are not really aligned from top or from bottom to each other and they th that that doesn't look pretty when you print it of course so what we can do in ChemDraw is align them automatically so I'll select this marquee tool so first you select one structure and then you press shift keep pressing it and select another structure now you can leave the shift key so we have selected both of these structures now and now we'll go to object menu click on object and then see there is an option align and if you go to align you can align them differently like from left edges right edges and top edges bottom centers so for example if I click on top edges just see now they both are aligned and at the same height now if I want to align them like this, I mean on the left edges, I select again this, press shift, select the second structure, go to object, align, and left edges. So see, now they have been aligned from their left edges. Similarly, we can do that with the right edges or center. So this is a quite cool feature of ChemDraw. So you can make different um, big structures and then you can align them using this automatic tool because even you have these grid lines it's not easy to align some bigger size structure sometime manually so it's always a good idea to align them using the automatic tools all right the next thing is we can also center them on page like select object center on page look now they are on the center of the page overall so if you have many structures you can select them all and if you want to center them you just press and center on page and it will center everything selected on the page I'll zoom it a little bit and we'll see what is the next option the next option is about grouping so if we select these structures again and we click on this group button now we have grouped these structures it's similar to like in Adobe Photoshop we can link different layers and then they move together so now we have linked these structures so you see when I'll move they will move together and even if I select one they both will be selected so that's 
uh, about the linking of these two structures and you can now move them easily together so you don't need to worry that the formatting will change or alignment of them will be changed alignment will be same as soon um, however you move them so this is about grouping the structures and then of course you can ungroup them so now we are we have ungrouped them you can see now they're selected separately okay there is another thing uh, about grouping these structures uh, sorry sending them to back or putting them to front for example what will we do uh, we can just open this file all right so for example I'll copy something from here like this text press by uh, paste by pressing control V I'll move these structures a bit up so now for example we have something here and I want to put that structure on top of it look when I put it on top of this it just disappears I mean it, it is going to the back of this image what I want is to put it on the front of this image so I can do two things either I right click or we can do these things like the object menu in the right click but I'll will currently try to explore it from the object menu so if I click on bring on bring to front so now this is on the front so if I put it oops on this structure it will be at the front not at the back all right and if I send it to back of course it will just hide behind this structure because you won't be able to see through this structure so that's the setting and similar can be done by the right click so if you select it right click you can see the option bring to front send to back I'll move it back and I'll delete this because we have explored what we wanted to explore with the, that image so now I'll just put them here and then see what is the other option in ChemDraw there is another option to flip the structures horizontally or vertically I'll make another copy here and I'll show you how the flipping works so for example I right click on this structure or I go to object menu I can find this flip horizontal and flip vertical so if I flip vertical you can see that it's just opposite to that structure here when it it is just um, it looks like a mirror image of that structure so similarly if I want to flip it horizontally I mean that's that's a real cool thing in in chem in chemistry you know that there are mirror image structures which are enantiomers of each other so you don't need to create enantiomers I mean draw them manually you can just draw one enantiomer and then make the other enantiomer by just flipping it so for example this is these are the same structure these are just copies so I'll just flip this structure and make a mirror image of this structure so I'll select this structure go to object menu and click flip horizontal now it is flipped horizontally and if you see it is a mirror image of that structure now I'll delete this one to keep the confusion less so now how how can we confirm that this is a mirror image it, it looks like a mirror image but we have to look at the stereochemistry so there is another beautiful thing in chem bio draw you can also measure the stereochemistry of the compound automatically so it is just to make life easier otherwise you have to look manually here like is it R S what configuration it is so we'll click on this object menu again and show stereochemistry so we have shown the stereochemistry of this this compound 
and now we'll show the stereochemistry of this one object show stereochemistry if you look at it now this OH the carbon with which OH is attached it is in S configuration and the next carbon is in R configuration but in this one this carbon is in R configuration and the next is in S so that's the right uh, opposite it is a mirror image and similarly you can see that S and R and this one is S this one is R so this uh, is this molecule is a in a mirror image of this structure that's a, an enantiomer that's a non superimposable mirror image so you can create enantiomers with chembio draw very easily just like this in mean, right click flip horizontal and then you just show the stereochemistry and see that it is actually the enantiomer so this way you can also determine the stereochemistry of a compound very easily and we can also of course rotate this structure for example we want if we select it we want to rotate it uh, object rotate 180 degree vertical 180 degree horizontal or you can rotate by a custom angle for example I want to rotate it by 60 degrees clockwise you can do it counterclockwise this one the second option and then you can also rotate the atom labels I mean you if you want the text to also get rotated you can do that so if I click rotate you see I have rotated the structure but not the text I do control Z if you want to rotate the text label as well click on rotate now you see the text is also rotated the same uh, amount as the structure is so you can rotate a structure you can flip a structure get its mirror image and you can align the structures you can send them to back or bring them to front using this object menu these are some really handy tools in ChemDraw which help you um, modify your structures according to your needs I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to get yourself informed about more videos which will be coming soon and bye bye until that